into my kitchen, I'm going to show you a few basic and essential items that you will need if you're going to make your own baby food. Some of these are also essential if you're buying bought baby, baby food as well, so keep watching if you are. These things do not cost a lot of money um, and as I go through them I'll let you know roughly how much I paid. It's not expensive and it's not time consuming to make your own baby food. So let's jump in and I will show you what you need. The first thing that I would say is absolutely essential is a decent steamer. This one was literally about a £10 from Argos. It's a Cookworks one, so very, very cheap version. Steaming helps keep all of the nutrients in the vegetables. When you boil them, you use, lose a lot of nutrients to the water. And steaming helps them hold on to all of their nutrients best. So that's what I would use. I would also use a food processor or a blender. Again, these are both really inexpensive versions. This Kenwood one came from Argos, was around... £17 and this blender was from Argos around £12 or something around that. Um, really inexpensive, really really handy to have in the house whether you use it for baby food or your own food. Obviously when they're four to six months you need to puree things so you will absolutely need this. When you get to six months plus you can start mashing so these are less essential however um, I would suggest that they're so handy to have you're making soups and things anyway that the investment is well worth it. You'll also need a bunch of ice cube trays. I recommend getting these kind of rubbery ones that are much easier to fold. It's a lot easier to get the food out of these once they're frozen and I would get a bunch of these. You do only have to, if you're making one batch at a time, then you can pop them out and put them into a plastic baggie which I'll show you in just a minute. But if you're making a whole bunch of baby food at once, which I like to do so that I don't have to do it again for the rest of the month, um, I recommend getting a few of these. I picked up at Wilkinson's for around £1.50 or around about that mark. I'm just going to take you into my freezer now and show you some baby food that I have stored in here and show you how I store it. There's a dog peeking around. <laughs> Um, okay, so these two shelves are Elena's shelves and as you can see, I've got several bags of baby food made up for her. This is all pureed stuff. Um, she's actually just turned six months and I will be able to start mashing things, but I'll be using all of this up first before I start um, freezing things that are just like shredded chicken and things like that. This one I have labelled as butternut squash, which I made on the 25th of December. Yes, I did make that on Christmas Day. I'm crazy, I know. Um, so what I did was I just I steamed I steamed it, pureed it, froze it, and then popped it into these Ziploc baggies. Wrote the name of the fruit or vegetable that's inside, and the date, and you can store it for up to a couple of months for vegetables and fruit. Um, you'll see in this little tray here, I have several different versions. So up until now, I've made for her butternut squash, sweet potato, parsnip, carrots avocado and banana which she absolutely loves and as a side note when you do freeze avocado and banana it goes a little bit darker like a darker green and when it thaws it does look a kind of mucky colour don't worry about that it's absolutely fine we've got apples and blueberries in here we've got apples by themselves and we've got pears we've got bananas we have turnip and we have ordinary potatoes as well. I haven't got her onto greens yet, but the first thing that I will be trying very soon will be peas, and I will be buying them frozen, frozen, steaming them, and um, pureeing them down, and then kind of mashing them down for her now that she's six months. Um, something else that I wanted to share with you is these little popsicles. I got, I got these on Amazon. They're really affordable. They're about four ninety nine, I believe, for the pack of four, and you can just fill with pureed fruits, and then they have a frozen popsicle. Absolutely essential when they're teething and at least you know what's in it rather than giving them something store-bought that's probably just packed full of sugar. Some other things you'll need then, I'll show you Elena's shelf in our fridge. Um, I have a couple of um, ice cubes of butternut squash defrosting in here for her dinner and these little clip lock boxes are absolutely fantastic. I got these in a pack of four from the pound shop. Um, absolutely amazing essential keeps all the nutrition locked in I know that there's not any air getting to it and it's perfect for dropping into my nappy bag because it does not dare leak so completely recommend you get something similar to this like I said four and a four for a pound in the pound shop is absolutely fantastic and this is Elena's boiled cooled boiled water so I boil um, fresh water in the kettle every night for her and fill up this jug and this is going to be for Mixing with her food when I'm putting, I usually put four grain cereal for her dinner and porridge for her breakfast. 
with porridge with her, her pureed fruit um, and also for her sippy cup. I'm going to show you this is Elena's breakfast which I've got ready. Um, I have one of these little Tommy Tippy spoons. We also have the ones that change colour when the food is too hot but the only drawback with them is I feel that the actual spoon itself is quite big and quite deep and she struggles to get it in her mouth which means a lot of mess. These ones are really shallow so um, I can get just the right amount in her mouth and not have it all over her face. Um, inside of here I have two ice cubes of pureed apple which I defrosted overnight and then I've added to that um, just some cereal, some baby porridge and some of that cooled boiled water. Um, when she wakes up from her nap she will be getting that heated just for about 12 seconds in the microwave and that will be her breakfast. So essentials, spoons and boxes. Another absolute essential would be her high chair. Um, this one was a very kind gift. And you'll also see another essential, which is a sippy cup. Um, this one is one of the ones they start off at six months, which she can kind of soak a little bit like a, like a bottle uh, and get the water out that way. It's really difficult to get babies to drink water, so anyway, she'll drink it. I'm happy to give it to her. She will be moving on to the free-flowing cups, and actually she does use them already, although she prefers this one. She does end up using this teat to bite on because she's teething, which does mean the water goes everywhere. But this one's by Nubby, and we really like it. It's really easy for her to lift and hold. Final absolute essential then will be bibs and I really like these ones with the arms. Um, this one was from b um, a friend of mine got it for me which was really kind of her. It's plastic on the back, cloth on the front and it covers their whole outfit so it covers right down to their knees and it covers their arms. This is another bib which I actually picked up again from the pen shop which just shows you what amazing things you can find in there and this is all plastic and again it covers her whole outfit and my husband prefers this one. Um, to be honest, I'm happy with either or because they cover the whole outfit. They are fantastic at keeping her as clean as possible. So those are the basic essentials that you will need if you are weaning and particularly if you're making your own baby food. All of the items are inexpensive and actually if you're making your own baby food you save such a ton of money on buying those prepackaged things. It's so much cheaper to buy the fruit or vegetable and make it by yourself that it's absolutely worthwhile investing in the right equipment and you'll absolutely use it for your own food as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tune in to my other weaning vid videos. I will be filming a selection of them. I'll be showing you how I make my own baby food. Um, I'll be showing you what my six month old eats in a day. And as she gets a little bit older, I'll be showing you more and more meals that become a little bit more like what mummy and daddy eat, but in smaller and easier to manage versions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks, bye.